That's gonna, that's gonna leave a mark, baby. Hey, how you doing? I'm Tim Black. Have you guys watched the TLC show, 19 Kids and Counting? I haven't. I'm just going to admit it. I don't know anything about this show. I'm getting up to speed, though. 19 Kids and Counting is a show on TLC, or was, past tense. It was a show on TLC. And it's of this family, a very popular family called the Dugers. All right? So, the Dugers, they got all these kids, and they live this wholesome lifestyle. Their oldest son, his name is Josh Duger. He's become sort of a famous Duger. All right? He's the, uh, I guess you would say, the, the face of an organization called Family Research Council. And he talks about family values, you know, marriage, um, pro-life, and, you know, he's against homosexual uh, families or homosexuality or he's against civil unions like gays get married. Gay marriage, that's it. Let me get it out. He's against gay marriage and all these things. So the Internet is having fun right now at his expense because it just became common knowledge that this guy, Josh Duger, molested five children when he was a teenager. Not exactly the type of, the type of news you'd want from the face of an organization called Family Research Council who espouses the virtues of family life and doing things correctly and talks, speaks about God every other sentence. It's like Duck Dynasty on steroids? Well, not steroids. Duck Dynasty on some pedophile shit is what it is. That's what it is. Now look, uh, TLC has since removed the show and Hulu has removed the show from its website as well. What's streaming on Hulu? So it's gone. Bye, Josh. Now, I'm doing this story not just to point out Josh Duger, but I want to say, you know, there are a lot of people who make a lot of comments about gays. And I always, when I hear these guys, right, particularly guys, because you don't, you hardly ever hear women going in on gays. It's always guys who are, like, preoccupied with calling someone gay or making something about gay references and just have such a problem with gay people. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't want no guys coming on to me. I'm a straight man. I'm heterosexual, right? But unless a gay guy, like, comes on to me, I don't have a problem with him. Unless he tries to put his hands on me and do something like that, I don't have a problem with him. And I've never understood these guys that just go, like, you know, rogue, and they use that as, like, their number one slam. It's like, gay, gay. I mean, anything you say, someone's like, why you do that? You, you sound gay. You sound moist. Now, I like the term moist because it's funny, but, <laughs> but look, I'm joking when I use it. I don't actually mean that you are gay, so I might have to stop using it because people who use it and people who seem like they're so outwardly spoken against gay marriage and against gays and homosexuality, it shouldn't surprise you when they turn up to be like Josh Duger, a guy who not only molested five children when he was 14, two of them were his sister. So we got molestation and incest. Rape. We got rape. Rape, molestation, incest. And somehow his family was popular enough or able to seal it so that it's been hidden. Because that's a pretty big blemish to have on your record if you want to have a reality show based on your family and the Christian values that you have. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Got to keep your eye on those guys out there talking about the, the people with the biggest bullhorn who are dissing gay marriage, who are dissing gays. Yeah, look at them. Look at them real closely. Look at them real closely. Maybe they've had a homosexual experience, didn't go too well for them. Something happened. Something, there's a reason. There's something, all right? Not always, but I'm saying. It was the case in Josh Duger's case, right? I'm just saying. All right. <laughs> See you tomorrow on the Barstool Podcast where I'll talk about all types of crazy stuff. Man, just tune in, all right? 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. It will be live. Be there. Not you, Josh Duga. You don't, you don't show up. We don't, we don't want you on. You, you, don't, you don't have to watch. <laughs> and don't you use none of my glasses or silverware. Nasty bastard.